So the first question today is how did the History Archives and Archaeology Club come up with the idea of the World War II History Trail? If I cast my mind back, this began last September when the society was formed and we began searching the Hampton archives. And one of the first articles that the new archivist, Ms. Esmond, gave us was um, the newspaper where the school was opened in September 1939. I remember seeing that article and remember seeing the photo of the new school, brand new in 1939. And I remember that the boys here then were struck by the fact that 1939, September, was also the outbreak of World War II. So, um, gents, do you want to, to jump in as to how that began to sort of lead us on our adventures? Um, well, of course, we, we started doing more and more research on just the school during the war uh, so that we could sort of expand our knowledge. And then, of course, uh, we worked out that it was uh, 75 years since the v, uh, VE um, uh, and so then we decided just to um, uh, use our knowledge that we'd learned to create the trail. Fantastic. And um, gents, do you remember what other information we looked at to begin to find out what was happening to the school during the Any artefacts, any, any evidence? What were the archives do you remember looking at? Uh, I remember this was later on, um, <clears throat> but um, we went down to the um, little museum near the cloisters and looked at all the articles that were there regarding the new school opening and um, what the school um, did during the war. And I remember that was really interesting already, so I found it really interesting. Also, uh, as we did our research, as we found out more, we also found out that Hampton has a lot to do with the World War II. It affected it a lot. And we, we learned about new sites, like, I don't know, for example, the tennis courts is actually a trench. That was really interesting. And that kind of built up and built up the interest. And that's why we got into it and did more research about it. OK, great. So we used the archives and we used the, the Hampton School archives and we, um, we gathered information from a number of books as well. One particular book um, that we looked at was called Hampton During the Second World War, which was written by a former teacher at the school called Ken Rice. Um, we'll move on to another question now. Um, and that is, um, what is your what was your favourite site that we um, have investigated? There were nine in total. Which one is your favourite site um, that we have found out about? My favourite site in the trail uh, is the area of the pig club. It's my, it's my favourite because like this fun club represented the resilience of not only Hampton, but also England during uh, World War II. I say this because the club was open for purposes of acquiring food from the pigs, yet it was often used as a place to have fun and, you know, get entertained. In my opinion, that's quite remarkable, given the circumstances at the time. Uh, I really uh, enjoyed learning about the pig club because we weren't really, at, when we were investigating that, we weren't really just learning about how Hampton coped with the uh, war because uh, Hampton used some of the uh, meat from the pigs and uh, gave it to... Uh, people in the local community so it sort of showed how Hampton wasn't just helping itself we were trying to help the whole country. Um, another question that we might focus on is um, which of the other stories that we learnt about that you might have found interesting? Uh, I think my favourite stories all relate to the pig club and the mischief that the pigs got up to. Uh, my favourite is possibly um, the one where um, one night one of the um, students who was in charge of closing up the pig club hadn't closed the gate properly and on Christmas Eve I think it was they found all the pigs walking in a line down Nightingale Road and neighbours were complaining and Hampton students had to um, come over from all places to get the pigs 
back into the pen. And I think that um, the, not the owner, but um, the head um, person of the pig club got punished by, badly by the headmaster at the time. And yeah, that's my favourite story. That's right, that's right. That was a great story. Um, could I ask um, for, for each of you, if you each give us an answer to this one, what has been the favourite um, part of doing this project? So not, not sort of a specific story, but in terms of doing this project as a process, what have you enjoyed the most? So Ollie, if we go to you first. Um, I enjoyed just doing the investigating and searching through the archives. Uh, to, we found out some really interesting things that we couldn't have known by just, yeah, without looking. Yeah, thank you, very good. And I went to you. Sure, my, my favorite part of the project was um, kind of comparing 1930s and 1940s Hampton to uh, modern day Hampton, where we had those images of the main hall and uh, the newly built Hampton, we, we compare that to um, the modern day. We also looked at some images of the trenches of of the fields and when you compare it like it used to be a trench to a hide from the bombs and then now it's a tennis court it's used for it's the fields where we play football so yeah that was that was very interesting uh i think my favorite part of the project was um compiling information for the slides on the trail and it was really interesting to see how hampton played its part during the war and how influential it was to other schools across the area as well. Um, and it was interesting to see how uh, today's Hampton ethos still shone through um, 75 years ago during the war. And I think that was my favourite part of the whole project. Wonderful. I think that's a brilliant place to end. Um, and gents, if, if Mrs Wilcox and I can both say um, publicly how proud we are of all of your hard work, and, and you represent the whole History Archives Club here, um, but you have been wonderfully committed and, and this project would not be possible without you. So we are very, very grateful to you and, and the members of the club. So well done.